In this video, I'll show you how to create a user with limited bucket access permissions using Amazon Identity and Access Management and how it works with CloudBerry Drive. To create permissions, you can use Amazon Web Service Console or CloudBerry Explorer. Difference between CloudBerry Explorer and CloudBerry Explorer Pro is that in Pro version, you can use a new policy wizard, which allows you to create permissions in a few easy steps when in CloudBerry Explorer you need to do it manually. I'll show you how to do it in CloudBerry Explorer Pro. You can download free trial at cloudberrylab.com slash pro. First we need to create our main account. Go to Files, Amazon S3 Accounts, click Add. Now type your display name and your access and secret keys. In CloudBerry Drive Getting Started video I showed you where you can find those keys. Now let's create a user with limited permissions. Run new policy wizard from Access Manager, select our main account and go to the next page. Let's create new user. Now we need to specify permissions for our new user. Let's select available bucket. Here you can preview policy script and modify it if needed. Now our user is ready and we need to create secret keys. Go to Access Manager, select our main account, right click on our user and left click on Manage Access Keys. Click Create. Now we can copy our secret key to clipboard or save it to file. Now let's create new account in CloudBerry Drive using these keys. and add new disk using our account. And also we can specify path directly to our bucket. And now we see our Amazon S3 as a local disk in Windows Explorer and when we open it we see the content of our bucket. Now you know how to create accounts with limited permissions and how to use it with CloudBerry Drive. You can get your 15-day trial version of CloudBerry Drive at cloudberrylab.com/drive.